What's going on, dear SAFE community? Welcome. I uh, recorded this video today to answer a few questions out from our community. And I will do this in the future more often because I think the best way how I can express myself is by video. So, um, quick to the questions of, uh, or what, what the question was from the community. The question was, what exactly am I acquiring through a purchase of the initial music offering, NFT? Um, what for utilities do I get? What are the benefits of it? And how exactly does it work? What is the part of safe in it? What is the part of the brand also in it? And we will cover today in the video all those things. I will extend it a little bit um, as well into the topic of the initial fashion offering. But first of all, I start a little bit with the basics. So um, what the initial music offering allows you um, is basically, or we start a little bit uh, uh, more on the, on the fundamentals, what the safe platform is offering you as a user and artists as well is that they can place their initial music offerings on the platform. So this is basically the uh, part of SAFE. SAFE for that gets a very small percentage of the revenue which is done in this whole thing. But I don't go too deep now into percentages and numbers because I think it's more important for you to understand the basic concept of it. So what does the artist do with it? Um, it's pretty simple to explain, similar uh, as an initial public offering, an IPO, or as example, an ICO, initial coin offering. You can, as a user, acquire, um, yeah, basically some NFTs from the artist. You are not acquiring any music. You are not acquiring any, I don't know, a music video in an NFT. What you are acquiring is a part of a whole project. So let's say, as example, let's say I do a project, the XYZ project, and I decide I want to have my existing community uh, basically be a part of, then what I can do is I can take my ownership of this project and give to the community a part of it. Um, whatever this is, if I decide as an artist, hey, I want to give 30% away of the cash flow which the a project generates or I want to give 30% away of the intellectual property or I want to give 30% away as example as well of touring income what could be as well a part of the project that's all up to me and or up to the artist basically so you need to understand safe first is operating as a platform is offering the service and in the future the service will be very easily accessible this means Artists can set up their own initial music offering without any technology uh, knowledge, without uh, needing to be a smart contract coder, etc., etc., etc. All not necessary. Um, so this is very important to understand. This first safe acts as a platform and gets a very, very small share of the pie. We think um, if we develop a great solution, a lot of artists will use it in the future. Then um, if we only get a very small uh, percentage of the whole pie, this is already enough and we, we still uh, can be a very profitable and a very impactful um, company, a very impactful project. So, um, so that said, the artist can really um, decide what he wants to share with the community and uh, what he wants to give away to the community. On the other hand, the artist doesn't need any more the financing mechanisms from the labels because he gives out, in most of the times, um, yeah, a big percentage, uh, dependent on the contract which you have, and as well, of course, um, how you call it, yeah, the rights, whatever for rights that there are, and he gives it away to the label. And in this um, scenario, he can still obtain those things, give it away to his community, and it's just a different kind of... Uh, operating. The community then owns the NFT, which is tradable on um, several uh, trading platforms, wherever you wanted to trade it. Uh, most likely OpenSea or maybe as one well of the future our NFT trading platform, but there we are not setting any limitations to the user. It's an NFT, so it's decentralized, so you can trade it wherever you want. It's yours. And on the other hand, besides of that, the user can decide uh, or not the user, the, the, yes, it's the user, but the, like the artist can decide, does he win, want to give you as well a cash flow option? We call this the Genesis wallet. This means as a project is uh, making money through the Genesis wallet, you can, uh, or the artist can basically send out um, profits 
to all the NFT holders. So if the smart contract has, example, 10,000 unique NFT holders of the smart contract or of the NFT X, then you can send through this Genesis wallet to all those token holders and the profits, whatever the profit uh, rate is at the end of the day. So this mentioned is uh, very important to understand about the basics. So now we come um, to speak about our initial music offering. We said and we knew that it is necessary if we want to onboard um, customers, onboard, I mean, I mean customers are the artists at the end of the day, we need to have a track record. We need to show the people, hey, we did a successful project, it worked for us, and you can do it as well. So, so what we decided is we do our own project. The project is called Ozo, written O50. And um, that's, by the way, a brand of mine. And uh, what we said is I personally onboard um, artists to this project. We obtain the rights to the music, we own the music, and we give basically or tied the whole project up as an NFT. So you can basically participate in this project right now. Um, we had the first artist already uh, on the project. Uh, his name goes by Jim Jones. And we have a lot of more um, artists upcoming in this project. And it will be very interesting. It will be, um, yeah, it will be a very interesting project where we give away, um, yeah, where we give away percentages to you. How this basically works is, let's say, we have a very successful hit on this record. It will be a whole record, so this you will not purchase just one track. You purchase basically a whole record with the NFT. And how this is working basically is, let's say we have a big hit on the album, um, which makes 100 million views, what is totally uh, possible with the artists we work together. And um, this would mean we will generate some cash flow. For you quick to understand, um, if you have a YouTube hit or if you have a Spotify hit, per 1,000 clicks, you get around 3,000 US dollars. And this would mean if we have a hit which has like um, 100 million, um, 100 million uh, clicks, views, what I cannot promise to you, but what could basically happen, then this would mean we would make 300,000 US dollars. So besides of everything else, what could, um, what could happen? So $300,000 and this could or this would be given away to the NFT holders through the function of the Genesis wallet. So this is important to understand. Of course, not everything um, is given away. We give away a profit share of 50%. So you will receive as an NFT holder 50% um, of the uh, profits of also generated. Of course, um, if you only own one NFT, you get one part of 10,000 um, yeah, profits which we are distributing. So like this, you can uh, imagine this is very simply explained. Then, of course, you have other utilities which we decided we want to give to you if you own also NFTs, okay? Um, what this thing has to do with SAFE, we have very soon the web pages live, so to understand the technology is coming from SAFE, which is basically providing smart contracts, etc., etc., and the uh, artist part is coming from the company or from the project Ozo. So this is very important to understand to have the differences here. So you're you're purchasing a Ozo NFT powered by Safe, basically. You will see this as well in the first drop which we are doing. Uh, we have a lot of placements of Safe there, and you can clearly see. Okay, those two companies they are together. So the one uh, company uh, is basically me Ozo. And um, but back to the topic real quick. Um, to talk about how is it uh, working, what is the additional utility, because this, I think, is a very important part to understand. So let's say, if you own the safe initial music offering NFT, then you have the chance to take part in, as example, a recording session which we are doing with the artist. So let's say we have artist XYZ here in the future, we hit with him the studio, we are recording, this would mean you have the chance if you own a also NFT that you can come behind the scenes. Can we have 10,000 uh, NFT holders in a studio session? No, of course not. This means what we will do is, sorry for moving the mic, what we will do is we will um, coming up with a solution that you can buy basically purchase tickets 
Um, the NFT is kind of an entry ticket to the page, and there you can purchase tickets which are very limited for such an event which we are holding here in the Dominican Republic. So this said, this is how it, uh, how it is working, how we are operating um, regarding the initial music offering. Uh, if you're obtaining um, uh, initial music offering right now, uh, or in initial music offering NFT right now, you have um, basically a pre-purchase option on future NFT drops from us or from other artists. We will manage this that they, you can get the early access to um, yeah to NFTs of other artists. So let's say if you if you are working together in the future with big artists, you have as well the chance to get very early basically um, involved there. So people. Now we are talking about the initial fashion offering. The initial fashion offering works pretty the same like the initial music offering, but it's about another topic. It's about fashion. So how does it work? The initial fashion offering NFT is kind of a um, secret, a kind of a very limited access pass into an internal online shop where you can grab the Ozo streetwear fashion, okay? How it is working basically is we are working right now on a lot of crazy pieces. We are working on sunglasses. We are working on sneakers. We are working on uh, T-shirts, of course, uh, trainers, and as well on a few crazy jackets. As an example, we will have a leather jacket, which is not from this world. This I can, um, I can tell you. Um, but we will have very soon um, a sighting of the... Uh, yeah, of the first fashion drop. We have as well a big partnership coming up there, but I don't get into this right now. But on the other hand, with this NFT, as I said, you have the access to the back end. Um, you have access to early drops, which we are doing. The clothing, by the way, will be very limited as it is sold. It's sold, and we are not redoing it anymore. We are getting then um, new stuff, new pieces out. We will have some classics or classic styles which will be always available. But we will have some very limited pieces which will be only available on the first drop. And I, I would really see that I get my hands on it because I think it will be really some legendary stuff. On the other hand, with the NFT, you are participating in the profits. This means if you are owning the initial fashion offering NFT, you are getting as well, a profit distribution of 50% of the profits which are made within the company. And you can assume, let's say we are selling 1,000 t-shirts and one t-shirt sits as an example, I don't know, at 80 bucks or at 60 bucks, whatever it is, we uh, will come up very soon with the price, but let's just make an example. At 80 bucks, we sell 1,000 um, t-shirts, then there is, um, yeah, there is some money to be made. So you can really... Um, if you like the topic, if you like fashion, you can one on one side profit from early access and the other side as well profit financially. So that's basically the whole thing. I say thank you again. I wish you a beautiful day. Please ask more questions in the Discord community. We are answering it um, right now, if not in a written way, in a video way, because I thought um, this is a very important topic to lay down that people can really watch this video Thank you for watching this video. Leave a comment below what you think. Where are you most, um, basically, uh, or from, from, from what side are you more, more excited? On the IMO side, on the IFO side, what do you like more? Leave a comment with who we should work, what for kind of fashion we should bring to the market. I would really be happy to have your thoughts down on the video. Peace out, and I wish you a very beautiful rest of the week and a good weekend. Bye.